have to do when you build a log house is you have to uh well we when we first build that metal arc log homes we make the opening smaller than they actually need to be that way we don't have to be precise as precise uh, we have some variance we should say once we're building the house on site like we are here and now once everything is glued together screwed together and it's here to stay then what we do is we actually cut a little bit out on each side and make our final cuts so that's what i'm doing now basically I'm gonna go around and cut all my widths, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna cut a bevel on the outside at about 45 degree angle to make it look really nice. And then we're gonna sand that, make it look really cool. And then we're also gonna make a chainsaw slot that's gonna go right into the logs. And we're gonna take a piece of angle iron, attach it to a two by six for our sub buck frame. And that's what's gonna attach the door or the window is gonna be attached to that that way our logs can actually settle and slide down over that angle iron and the angle iron keeps the window and the door firm so it can't twist or, or move or bind up or anything. So this has been, uh, we've kind of, my, my dad actually pioneered the idea of this log house building, this the way we're doing it. Now we've improved over the years, uh, you know, many fold over and this is something that we've come up with is this angle iron and it seems to work out really well. And then we're gonna leave a settling gap above all our windows and doors and that's gonna, of course, same as the frame walls, allow the logs will slide down, the windows will stay in place, and the logs will slide down and nothing will bind up. And we have to put slip trim on the outside so our trim doesn't bind up either. So it's a trick, you gotta know how to do it, but once you know how, it's a really smooth system and it works great. All right, time to continue. Everybody likes to do things a little bit different. I like to make three cuts. If for me, I can just get it more accurate. If I do my first cut, just really concentrated, getting it straight. And then my second cut, I go about two thirds of the way through. The final cut, I go all the way through. If you have a, a saw cut there, your, your chain naturally wants to fall in the same groove. If you just go all the way through the first time, a lot of times it wants to go back and forth a little bit.
let's see what we got going on here. Okay, I'll see if I can explain this a little bit. You can see I've got two marks here, okay? So this mark, you're just gonna see in a minute, is where the outside of my door buck is gonna go. So it's gonna sit right in here, six and nine sixteenth, right in here. And then this is gonna be a flat place and I'm gonna do a 45 degree angle out right here. So then we're gonna sand this all up and make it look nice. And then there'll be trim out against the door uh, right here. So I'm gonna start cutting. That is the next thing that we need to do. now that I've got my 45 degree bevel on there, I'm actually going to make a plunge cut in here and that's where my angle iron is going to slide into. And I didn't mention this, but the string line I've got stretched from one corner of the house to the next and I measured both of my windows off of that so my windows are square with each other. They're not, uh, one window's not here, the other one's like cockeyed like this. So they're exactly, once this trim is on, I can look on the inside and all my trim is going to be perfect. Uh, instead of like cockeyed or one window out further than the other. So everything's measured off of the foundation, the string line. So that's what that's for. Okay, let's get to our plunge cut here. done. Now I'm simply going to repeat this side. And I use this uh, rafter square or tri square I guess to get my uh, angle. And I'm going just a little bit less than 45 degrees, about 40, 40 degrees. <laughs>
take my slot in here how far how deep I go because I've got screws log screws in here and I don't want to hit them so just trying to be super cautious I do have to go about a quarter inch deeper right there yeah I gotta go just a little bit deeper thing is I put a slight bevel on this window on the outside just so there's not a shelf there where water will sit on and get my little level basically just go even with the Outside of my bevel here. And we're just going to make a nice little bevel there. Slight slope.
this. Now all we got left to do is just sand this window down and it's done. Moving on to the next one. So one really super important thing to keep in mind is when you're sawing with these uh, these logs, you have to keep your chainsaw extremely sharp. So I'm just getting ready to start on the window, so I'm I'm gonna file I'm filing my saw and make it as sharp as I possibly can. This is not a new chain. I like to usually put a new chain on uh, if I do logs, but since I'm up here and I don't have the luxury of just getting a new chain whenever I want, so I'm going to file this thing up super sharp and. Uh, so it's ready for me. Now there's some things that you have to remember when you're sharpening. Uh, you always have to count your strokes. So right now I'm, I'm doing eight strokes. And the reason is, is you want you, all your teeth have to be the same height. If you file one more than the other, or one side more than the other side, your saw is gonna cut crooked. So it's super important. It's kind of a, kind of a, an art almost to sharpen a saw. Um, I grew up around it, so it's it's still a little bit of a challenge, but to get them actually really accurate, um, it's easy to sharpen them, but to sharpen it right is kind of a, a tricky thing. So you have to sharpen the teeth, and then you have to actually, these other things are called rakers. You have to make sure the raker is the right height. You have to make sure your, your chain is the right sharpness, uh, right uh, tension on here, and there's a couple things like that to make sure that uh, everything is exactly the way it's supposed to be. And you also have to make sure that when you file, that you're not going like that or like that. You're filing nice and, and uh, level like this at 90 degrees. And you also have to make sure you're the right angle this way. If you're uh, off in any way, then that affects it uh, as well. So a lot of things to keep in mind. Okay, the moment of truth has arrived. This is the first time we are using power in our house. These lights come on, I've done it right. Oh, look at that. <laughs> There's power. Now forevermore, I am bound to the electric company, which I absolutely despise. But there we are. We got lights, we got power. I hooked up two outlets just so we have power in here. Well, it's that time again. It's uh, the next morning now, and we're gonna, <clears throat> my goal is to get all these windows cut out today if I can. So that's what, <clears throat> excuse me, that's what we're gonna be working on. Yesterday, the natural gas line got dug. For some reason, they didn't dug, dig the last 150 feet. Uh, I'm not sure why they didn't do that. Uh, or put the line in, it's like a main line. I guess they need to have it engineered. So uh, they dug, but I got my meter. Well, the line is up to the house and then almost all the way out to the connection point. So that's good. So I'll finish that later. <clears throat> and then, uh, so today, Justin is actually sanding all the windows. My goal is to get all the windows cut out. Maybe I could do some work on the deck. That would be great if I could finish that, but I don't know if I can or not. We're gonna try it. So I'm just gonna cut all the windows and Justin's gonna be sanding. Now Ethan's not here today because uh, he's actually, Justin and Ethan are gonna take turns teaching school each one day a week. So that's gonna give Priscilla some relief as far as you know having her catch up with housework and just do other things that she's working on her lemongrass spa company that she's with as well as chloe avalon the, our other youtube channel by the way if you haven't checked that out make sure you check that out that's chloe avalon's my wife's channel it's a great channel uh make sure you subscribe and watch her over there uh so that'll give us a little bit of free time to do some of those things so the boys are going to be switching off so today is just justin tomorrow's going to be just ethan so uh here we go let's get started
switch over and do this side. First thing I've got to do is make sure I get my width right and I have to go three and three quarter inches more than the width of my window. That puts me at 51 and a quarter. Oh, come on.
Justin's doing a fine job on the sanding. That's tough work. Got this all sanded around here. Well, I'm getting close. I got that window left up there, that window over there, and then just got to finish this window here, and then I am done cutting out windows. So, got to cut the bevels and the groove in there. The width is cut out. One more left to go. That guy up there, I'll have to get a ladder and stand up there, I guess, somehow. Made myself a little platform up here. Got all my tools up here. Takes so many tools to do one little job. All right, can't wait to finish this one up. And then I'm done cutting out. It's a hard job. Oh, yeah, I am so happy to be done. Whew. I uh, feel a little bit under the weather today anyways, and uh, running that heavy chainsaw, cutting overhead and stuff, wears a guy out. So I am thankful to be done with all the windows. Now Justin, I think he's got that one up there left to sand and part of another one, and then he's done. So we're going to work a couple more hours on the deck. I think it's around 3 o'clock, so we got a little bit of time. Maybe we can get the deck finished up today, or, or at least close. I'm loading up these boards right here onto the truck. And uh, these are boards that we brought back from Montana or that we, that we were sent up here with the logs uh, when we shipped them up from Montana. I think there's just enough to finish what I need here. So uh, hopefully there's enough anyways to finish the little, the little porch and then a little, couple pieces on the side porch, the long porch yet. So I'm gonna load them up, take them over there and get started. We're rolling now. So what we do is we put a border on here and all the rest of them go inside there, so. Got our corners here, all 45 And then we're going to be putting fascia out underneath here yet. That's something we still haven't got done, but we have to before we stain. Last couple screws on the deck. Looks pretty sweet. All right, there it is. All good to go. Well, the plan for tomorrow is, and Friday, today is Wednesday, is to get this deck sanded and the front deck sanded, get all the railing on, get that burnt, get that sanded, and get everything prepped. And then Friday, hopefully we can uh, spray the outside with a clear finish. So that's the plan. Get everything prepped tomorrow and then spray on Friday. So if all goes well, we can make it happen. If it rains or something, probably not, but uh, so far it's, it's coming together. So I'll have Ethan to help me tomorrow, I guess. And we'll see how far we can go. And then on Friday, we'll have both of the boys again. All right, I think we'll call it a night right now. Here we are now. I got Ethan helping me today. And we got all our log, our railing in, our log railing. And this came back from Meadowlark Log Homes back in Montana. It got shipped up with the logs. And we just had them out wrapped up in a pallet. And now we brought them in here. And we're uncovering them. And Ethan is actually uh, burning them so that we can get them uh, you know, put on the porch. We 
we had rented a sander, a floor sander, because I wanted to get the porch sanded first and then burn our railings and get those up, but I couldn't get the sander to work, so I have to take that back to the rental. Uh, so we're just doing what we can, getting the, the railing um, burnt and prepared, set that inside, and then probably tomorrow morning we'll come back, get the floor sander, and get that done. So hopefully, I'm still crossing my fingers, hopefully tomorrow we can stain the outside if it isn't raining. So that's what I'm shooting for at this point, if we see if we can get there. I just got this uh, porch fascia on. Kind of tough doing it by myself, but I got it done. Yeah, it's kind of messy around here. As soon as we get that porch stained, then we can stack this wood on it. So that's going to be next week, hopefully. But got that done there. And Ethan has got one more section of railing to burn and then these posts. And then it's probably about quitting time. He's doing a fine job. He's a perfectionist. And he wants to do everything perfectly, which is awesome. Does a really good job. Well, this morning we're sanding the decks. I run to this thing at Home Depot because the one I run to yesterday, I fiddled with it for an hour and couldn't get it to work. Yeah, this thing seems to be working like a champ. So that's good. We're hoping we can get a coat of clear stain on the house today. Try to get everything prepped. Got to get all the deck sand and got to get the railing installed and do a whole bunch of stuff like that. Get the outside all prepped. Okay, it's lunchtime and we're still working here. I basically have uh, all of this sanded and <clears throat> these two outside boards we had put on originally so that we could put the porch posts on and they didn't get covered so they're really dirty. So I actually have to take a hand sander, a grinder like this and sand them down. And you can see right here, they turned out pretty good right here. And then they go dirty right there. So uh, we got to go across there and touch everything up. And the boys are um, cleaning everything off the logs, getting everything prepped. And hopefully we can still get a coat of stain on later this afternoon. After we get this, we got to get this deck all sanded. Then we're going to cover it and then put the railing on it. And then I think we're ready for some, st for some stain. And when I say stain... It's just gonna be clear finish. I probably wouldn't have to do it uh, because we burnt the logs, but it's just gonna give it a glossier look and give it like an extra coat of protection and like all the tongue and groove up here, that, that didn't get burnt. So um, I think that's gonna help it just to kind of keep everything protected. Now we've got the deck sanded. Justin is finishing on here and Ethan is putting a product on these bevels called Color Fast, and that's gonna help keep them nice and white and not gray out with age. I've never used it before, but we're gonna try it. Uh, I brought it along just for that, and also we're gonna use it on the inside to keep the logs as white as possible, or just as clear so they don't age in yellow. So now we're gonna get the railings and put the railings together. So I'm probably gonna try to do it by myself because the boys are busy, so we'll see how it goes. So we have to make a modification here. Unfortunately, this railing doesn't fit in here. I'm um, not sure what the deal is, so I'm gonna have to cut off two and a half inches off the back of this post so I can have a little bit more space. So that's what I gotta do right now. Wowzers, wowzers, we finally got it done. These things were a bit of a, a pain to get it in because they were a little tight, but we got it. We're still working on the front a little bit, but that makes it look so good. Now, I'm still hoping to get a coat of stain on. It's like five o'clock, but I think we can get it done. It doesn't take too long to get one coat on. Did I scare you? Hey, so you can see I'm dressed in this regalia of Tyvek. 
And what I'm doing now is I'm spraying the house. And it goes on, it's a water-based product called Timber Pro Exterior UV. And it goes on this uh, uh, white looking stuff, but it dries completely clear. So it looks really bad when you put it on, but then it, it actually um, looks really nice when it's dry. So I'm going to try to get one coat on yet, and then uh, we get to take the sprayer back before the rental place closes. So um, that's what we're trying to do here. And we got all the railing on, and we're going to give it a coat. The boys are uh, taping off around the porch deck so we don't get overspray on several different things. So doing that and trying to get one coat on. And then uh, next week, it won't be here uh, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Um, we're getting, doing a little get together or getaway for Priscilla's birthday. So, um, and then Tuesday, I'm helping Michael on his roof. So I won't be back until Wednesday. Uh, but hopefully I could finish it up, give it two more coats on a Wednesday of next week. So that's where we're at, and we'll see if we can get this first coat on tonight yet. there's the sun look at that isn't that pretty oh that is beautiful it's just hitting the tops of a few of these leaf trees here the poplars still have their leaves on them but all the birch have lost their leaves and we're getting ready to leave there's the house we got a coat of stain on it and am i happy about that wow i really like the way it looks with that railing now we just got to get Get it cleaned up. We still have to get uh, stain on the porch then, but that's after we get done with the logs. Hey, good morning. We are here on a Tuesday morning. We spent the weekend. Um, take Priscilla and I took the train to China Hot Springs, uh, north of Fairbanks. It's we went from Anchorage to uh, to Fairbanks, and then. Drove an hour further north, and we went to Hot Springs for Priscilla's 40th birthday. So if you want to see that video, make sure you hop on over to our other channel called Chloe Avalon, and you'll find the video on there soon. Um, and also today, a lot of you have asked about uh, my friend Michael and Emily, uh, which came up from us with us from Montana, how their house has come along. Well, here it is. And we're going to help them uh, on the roof today, 
they got one half of the roof done yesterday and we're gonna help them finish it today so that's what we're gonna be doing today and uh hanging out here with michael the boys and i Okay, and the roof is pretty much done. Everything done except the ridge cap, I think. So that's pretty cool. Let's go inside and check it out a little bit. Show you around for a couple minutes. They did a uh, very nice job. Michael did a really nice job of, of uh, this beam work up here. Looks so good underneath here. But let's go inside. Look around just a little bit. I think they're a little bit further ahead than we are actually. So they got their walls insulated and they already got all their finishing done. They stained it dark. It looks really nice. They got an octagonal window up there. This is gonna be their living room. There they have a little uh, wood stove in the corner fireplace. I really like that. A turned stairway and a loft up there kind of like i think it's kind of an open loft um and then downstairs they have i think this is gonna be their kitchen area here uh, more of an open concept upstairs and then storage area and i i'm guessing this is going to be a bedroom here I'm not even totally sure and then it looks like that's their bathroom because there's a tub right there and then uh i'm not sure what this Oh, this must be like utility room here. Entrance, I think. Yeah, this is kind of like a mudroom entrance. And then, I don't know what this is. Maybe like an off, the second bedroom, I think, up here. And then downstairs, they have a big crawl space where they can uh, kind of store a, a few things. So, it's got some spray foam insulation up here. Yeah, it's a really nice, uh, going to be a cozy house. So, again, this is this side of the house. Do a quick walk around here. Show you the back side. They already got some wood laid up for the winter, which is something that we still need to do. There's the back side of it. And walking around here. This is their little mudroom entryway right here. And again, they're only about Oh, 300 yards from our house. So they're a couple really long stone throws from our place. And yep, everything is coming together for them too. That's nice. So for tomorrow, for us, it's going to be putting on two more coats of exterior clear finish on the logs. And then those will be done. And I'm hoping we can get three coats on the porches and those will be done as well. So if it dries, I'm hoping it'll dry tomorrow. Um, and hopefully we can get that done. And then the following day, um, we're gonna get, hopefully get our, our stove in, our chimney in, get our vent pipes through the roof and a skylight in and pick up our metal. And then after that, we can put the metal on the roof. Then we can breathe easy. Then we're done on the outside. We can get our windows put in and uh, start working on the inside a little bit more. So uh, we're now beginning of October here towards uh, already a little bit into October and usually there's snow sometime in the middle to end of October so we're pushing it a little bit but God is good I think he's going to help us I know he will help us get it done so we're thankful for that and we just do what we can do and it works out we're grateful very blessed okay we'll see you tomorrow well this morning it is Wednesday the towards the beginning of October and 
Uh, what I'm gonna be doing today is I gotta put on two coats of finish on this house and that'll that's gonna take me all day and three coats on the port on the decks. So that'll probably, like I said, take most of the day between drying. So I'm gonna be working on that, focusing on that so that tomorrow uh, I can we can get our chimney in. Um, well, now the outside is done, now we can get a roof on. So, but for, in order for the roof to go on, we're gonna have to get our chimney through the roof, our plumbing vent stacks uh, to go through the roof. And, oh, and we're gonna put a skylight in, like a, a sky tunnel it's called. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. Um, and then on Friday, we're gonna start putting metal on the roof. It's supposed to rain on Friday and rain next week, but we're gonna have to get it done. Winter's coming. So rain or shine, mostly rain, we're gonna get it done. So this is gonna be the end of this video. I know you were probably hoping to see the windows and the doors installed, uh, but it's not gonna happen because on this video, you have to wait till a future video. My, my priority is getting the finish on and getting that uh, fascia, uh, clear stain on the fascia so that we can actually get the roof on. And later I don't have to be worried about masking off the roof metal. So. That's what the rush is, and once that is done, the staining, the roof, and then I'll probably get to the windows after that. So that'll be on probably the next video or probably the one following that. So stay tuned. We'll actually show you how to install it, and then later we'll be trimming out the windows. So it's a step-by-step it's a -step process. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for uh, following our family here, Montana Haven, Alaska edition. Uh, we hope you enjoy our content. If you do, remember to subscribe and like it that helps us get more views and spread the word and don't forget that my wife also has a channel called chloe avalon and we also have our montana haven home back in montana we have up for vacation rental so you can find that on airbnb and soon it will be also be on vrbo don't forget to check that out and if you are traveling through montana we hope you would stay here at in our um, montana home so God bless you and we'll see you on the next video.